unpacking and distinguishing American left-wing wokeism and right-wing deception from black liberation. World Net Daily, WND, put forward its version of what America was, is, and is becoming. It began by stating, Long the world's most Christian nation, America today, is being taken over by a new official national religion, one being imposed on the entire populace by every major societal institution from government, media, and big tech to academia, entertainment, and business. WND begins with a huge right-wing deception. In fact, a lie. America never was a Christian nation, except in word only, not in practice. My point. One of the biggest tenets of Christianity is to treat others as you wish to be treated. America was not doing that from its inception. Another is to not covet or take what belongs to others, what belongs to your neighbor. America was not abiding by this from its very beginning. Instead, they killed and took the lands of the native peoples. They stole and bought Africans and then enslaved them for generations to build the original infrastructure of America. Even originally in America, blacks along with whites, some of them were indentured servants, not slaves. But that changed. They sexually molested, enslaved black males. In the transatlantic trade, we were sold for liquor and sugar. Joel, the third chapter in biblical text, speaks of America and its European allies violating the principles of Christianity by taking God's people captive into slavery. It was written, For behold, in those days, in this day, and in that time, at this time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. I'm going to remind you, in other words, of this, of what you have done. I will also gather all nations. We see the gathering of the European nations in the valleys of Ukraine. And I will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. And I will plead with them there for my people. You see, Africa is not with the West as regards to Ukraine versus Russia. I will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, who they have scattered among the nations and parted my land, partitioned my land. Who are these partitioners? They're even threatening to partition Russia. We know who they are by their actions. And they have cast lots for my people. Cast lots. Selling my people. And they have given a boy for a harlot, for a prostitute, for sex. And they have sold a girl for wine that they may drink. Well, what are we talking about here? These are some of the undebatable deceptions of WND, a right-wing publication. On Wall Street, bidding battles were carried out by white America for black men, women, and children. The casting of lots for my people. They knew this was wrong and a violation of Christianity and even a violation of their constitution stating that all men are created equal. White Americans violated these principles knowingly 
of Christianity virtually from the beginning, and they still do. However, those violations were covered up, covered over, hidden, and repackaged by media, by government, and by religious organizations over the centuries, and even now by WND. Christianity demands recompense for wrongs committed as individuals and as governments, whether it was done today or yesterday. Yet, WND castigated the demand for reparations, putting it with Barabbas as those rolling with the synagogue of Satan placed Yeshua Christ with Barabbas. They would rather have Barabbas than Christ. Barabbas, a murderer. WND listed us among their degenerates, the LGBTQ, the confused, and they categorized God's children under what they detestingly called wokeism. We have been awake all along, WND stated. This woke consciousness has turned America upside down. From the nationwide Antifa and Black Lives Matter riots in 2020 to tearing down of historic monuments, monuments to Confederate degenerates, to demanding multi-million dollar reparation payments for blacks, to appointing transgender as top government officials, to rampant reverse discrimination in every area of life, to the U.S. military imposing mandatory diversity training and transgender pronoun use on all personnel causing recruitment to disastrously plummet. Well, we are not a part of the European board Antifa groups, nor are we the orchestrators of the LGBTQ agenda. The pervasiveness of such an agenda requires a latitude of first order power. That is not us. That is the power of money, of media, and religious orders. When you see blacks involved, they are pawns, just as the enslaved were pawns of the merchants and plantation owners. The so-called wokeism is not us. It is not our agenda, as right-wing WND indicates, and left-wing groups attempt to project us as being with them. As has often been the case, left-wing organizations have always infiltrated, diluted, and taken over the face of what was the black agenda and black liberation. This is the unpacking and distinguishing American left-wing wokeism and right-wing deception from black liberation.